Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more triangle strategy. In the last episode we finished up the morality ending. So at this point we're going to be going down some other paths and anytime we reach anything that's new I'm going to be showing it to you. So welcome to New Game Plus. Hard mental mock battles are now available at the tavern. New Game Plus and Conviction. During New Game Plus and every successive play, the following conviction values will be revealed to you. By accessing scout information at the Sundry Shop, you can view your current conviction values and information on the allies you've yet to recruit. Okay, so at the Sundry Shop, we have scout information. Gotcha. You can see the exact amount a given conviction stat has increased the moment it changes. Choices that affect conviction stats will be labeled to show which stats they affect and by how much. Okay. Actions that bolster conviction. In addition to dialogue choices, the following actions also raise your morality, utility, and liberty stats. Making choices, persuading allies, casting a tie-breaking vote, watching sub-events, and honing your weapons. The following actions raise your morality stat. Exchanging a large amount of kudos for items. Participating in mental mock battles. Talking to a large number of NPCs. During battle, ending a turn without moving or taking action. Fortifying allies. Winning a battle without killing all enemy units. Winning a battle in which the recommended level matches that of your army. Um, I'm gonna take photos of these. They're probably in the menus anyway, but still. Actions that bolster conviction, utility. The following actions raise your utility stat. Selling unneeded items at shops to obtain plentiful coin. Proactively collecting items and information. Deploying the recommended units for the upcoming battle. And during battle, using quietuses. Collecting spoils. Weakening enemies. Eradicating all enemy units when doing so is not a victory condition. Winning a battle in which the recommended level is higher than that of your army. And Liberty. The following actions raise your Liberty stat. Spending large amounts of coin at shops. Using items. Examining many objects. Deploying units not recommended for the upcoming battle. And during battle, stealing items. Healing allies. Uh, winning a battle in which the recommended level is lower than that of your army. Okay. And that's it. Alright. So, let's see. The Sundry Shop. Let's see if we can see this. So, first off, I did want to show you this as well. Everybody comes in with their current level, so that's something. Um, got Benedict back. All right, buddy. Welcome back. Inventory. We got all our items, including our accessories. War Chronicle, Path Traveled. So we'll be going to Hyzant in this one, but we'll be doing that one off screen. So the first time you're going to see me is probably around here, um, where we're going to uh, give up um, Roland. And then we'll go from there. But this is the path that we've taken. Whew, man. All right. Good stuff. All right. Okay, so this is the sundry shop. Oh look, some of these stuff are back. So we can actually buy some more Medal of Valors, that's cool. Uh, we might do that. So that thing that they told us about isn't available yet. So we'll probably have to get a little bit further into the game before we can uh, check our convictions. Most likely, maybe that'll happen after we make our first convictions choices? I don't really know. But this is where it's supposed to be. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get some of those. And who do we want to give these to? Oh, I've heard that your revive is really good. Some some people in the comments said that I should get his him upgraded because revive at 33 um, apparently is basically like our uh, resurrection accessory. Um, I could be wrong about that. That's the impression that I got, though. Let's promote you. Liberty plus eight. Now, I wonder Hard if our liberty and stuff has been reset, or if we... 
um, keep whatever our previous um, conviction levels were at. Um, if we keep our previous conviction levels, then it shouldn't be too difficult for us to promote some of the uh, conviction characters that we didn't get, which there are three of them that we didn't get. Um, okay, who else do we want to promote? I'm thinking you. Increases your movement by one when enemies are nearby. And it gives you more TP. Plus four utility. I think I've come this far. Grants immunity to silence, fury, and temptation. Okay. I think we're gonna do Roland, though. Increase your movement by one with clear weather. Cool, so his movement is seven now? Wow. At least most of the time. On my honor as king! Let's see, I think I have one more that I can do. Chance to obtain a bonus recovery pellet when picking up spoils. So only when you pick up spoils, I'm guessing. Hmm. I mean, you having more TP would be good, but... What a safe haven. Automatically recover a little HP at the start of your turn. It's kind of kind of good for a tank. Deal physical damage to a single enemy and knock them back to squares. Mm. I'm gonna do Benedict. Yeah. All right, very cool. And when oh, we get enough, for the um, young lord. When we get enough uh, quietus points, um, we will be able to get one more of those. Um, also, we never got hidden reserves. Um, we'll save up for that one too. So, this will be the next thing I get. But then after that, hidden reserves. Okay. Very cool. Now, also, supposedly there are hard versions of these mental battles. Okay. So I'm guessing these already count as the harder versions, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe those won't show up until later as well. Um, we'll have to check back again and see. A most glorious reward awaits those who achieve this great feat. Whoops, I should have read that more carefully. What are you saying? Uh-oh. I should have read that. Oh, well. All right. Um, okay. Lots of stock. Um, eventually, like, there's a lot of these, um... Uh, ability up by threes and like fives and stuff like I need to get some of these um, we never got these final tier uh, accessories so that's something else that we're gonna be probably buying so some of that may happen off screen but um, you know I'll try and keep you all updated on uh, any major things that I do um, but the next time you see me is probably gonna be chapter seven so um, yeah I'll see you in a bit all right, we are now in chapter five, basically right after we uh, did the mine mission with Dragan, and we now have access to scout information in the Sundry Shop. So we're gonna be checking that out. Looks like uh, character stories as well. We've got a big old question mark there. So first things first, I wanna check out the encampment because most likely that means that we recruited a new character. And that means that um, I do believe that we have a holdover from what our convictions were in the last uh, um, in, in the last uh, playthrough. So look at this, scout information. We have this now. Ooh, 
By accessing scout information, you can view your current conviction values and the conviction values required to recruit new allies. Very cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. So... We actually need a little bit more morality in order to get this mathematician. So, we're good on utility. So, I've been doing utility up until now. Right there, utility is 1800, morality is 1300, liberty is 1200. So, we're going to be working on morality next um, to get that up to 1600, and then we'll work on liberty. Cool. All right. So that clairvoyant is the one that we uh, should have gotten here. Um, also, we can get our last Medal of Valor. And I don't know what this is. A cursed cask? A booklet reporting on incidents that occur around the realm. It covers a suspicious rumor. Okay, what is that? Oh, we found this in uh, one of our uh, explore sessions. So this was a book that we clearly did not pick up our first go around. There is no sight in the realm as impressive as the Hyzantian capital. After braving the vast desert, the first thing a visitor of this great city sees is a wall so huge it does not look like it could have been made by human hands. The goddess's shield. Pass through the gate and you will emerge into a thriving metropolis of believers. Just beyond the streets lies the huge, calm waters of the source. Unbelievable as it may seem, the city and the walls encircle the entirety of the Great Lake where all of Norzelia's salt origi originates. In the center of the lake, towards a mountain-like statue of the goddess, an enduring symbol of the Holy State's faith. Indeed, after beholding how Hyzant could not only survive in the middle of an inhospitable desert, but thrive, even an unbeliever such as myself started to think that statue might actually be the goddess incarnate. In the palace in the city center lives the Hierophant, who they say hears the voice of the goddess assault herself. I imagine such a voice would be just as majestic and calm as the city she watches over. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, there it was. Treatment notes? Oh yeah, we picked this up in Hyzant. Um, and we did read this, um, when we did that in the first, in the first playthrough. But well, since we actually didn't go down that route. Um, a cursed cask. Have you heard the rumor of the moving cask? It's said that a mysterious apparition has been seen wandering around Hyzant lately. According to one theory, the lingering hatred of someone who drowned their sorrows in wine gathered within the cask and caused it to move, gaining it the name, the cursed cask. They say that the lonely apparition beckons others to the same fate calling out these words. Welcome and welcome and welcome and welcome and... Okay. <laughs> um, and also, somewhere, I think in information, there's a bunch of new stuff at the bottom of information here. Recently, a gang of bandits, their numbers greater than even the Wolf or soldiers can manage, have been spotted near the Rizal, and apparently they're led by a certain father and daughter duo. Okay, no, this isn't anything new. But I, I did notice this. Milo's destination, Milo who stayed behind in Glenbrook, seems to have interest in Serenoa. If he goes back to the Wolfort Domain, perhaps she will accompany him. Interesting that they gave you, give you these notes. Um, yeah. So it's basically hinting at the fact that we'll be able to recruit Milo if we go down that route. So, um, clearly some of these, uh, some of these things in information might actually hint towards, uh, how to get some recruitments. Which is kind of cool. Um, alright, so now at this point, this is where we're at. We're in Chapter 5. We've done both of these options. And, uh, yeah. Uh, chapter 7 is when we're gonna make our next choice, and, uh, on that one we're gonna be, uh, giving up Roland to Gustadolf. Which will be interesting, to say the least. Okay. So, we also need to do this. Um, who's gonna get our next weapon upgrade? Oh, wait, no. Promotion, not weapon upgrade. What do you get? Gift all of your TP to an ally. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Deal more damage the more TP you have. Alright, Hasabara. 
you get this, <laughs> this one. This calls for a drink. Now, it'll be a while before I can do any more upgrades because uh, we probably won't have access to more Medal of Valors until we hit that point in the game. So, it is what it is. Man, that's cool. All right. Let's do this character story. A young boy with a mysterious power lives within the woods of Glenbrook. Just what can his eyes see? I can hear it calling me. I must go. <sighs> there you are! Oh, how many times must we tell you? It's too dangerous to go off on your own. You have a precious gift that must be protected. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. Did you see something again? You once foresaw a terrible landslide near the village. Had we not evacuated, we all would have perished. What do you see this time? Something I must do. So if you'll excuse me. Wait! Don't go! Excuse me, my lord, but an odd child has requested an audience with you. A child? We try turning him away, but he insists on meeting. You there! Stop! Everybody's always busting into this place, man. You are Saranoa, yes? We need better guards. I am called Kohawk. Pray, allow me to join your company. Kohawk? You look troubled. Is something the matter? That's one hell of a name. I can see the past and future. All that has been and all that will be. The other day I had a vision. I saw the two of us fighting together. It was a vision of my destiny. Huh. <sighs> You needn't entertain this boy's nonsense, sir. I will have him removed at once. No, I would not see a child turned away. Let us hear more of his story. Excuse me, my lord. I could not help but overhear. I have heard of a child from a nearby village with the power to see the future. Would that happen to be you? It would. You must be Anna. I've had visions of you as well. How do you know my name? In the visions, that is what I always called you. Hmm, what powers it is this kid gonna have? rumors are true. I am certain my power can aid you in many ways. Please take me in. Kohog, I do not possess the power to see the future you have been privy to. But I believe this meeting was fate. If it is your wish, you shall have a place in my company. Excellent. I thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna forget how to s pronounce this half the times, but Kahog? Kahog? Kahog. We're gonna say Kahog. Join your forces. A prodigy capable of controlling time and space can increase ally speed and can return the battlefield to the way it was one turn ago? Whoa. Interesting. They built in a rewind mechanic into a character. That's a cool way of doing it, honestly. That's kind of interesting. Huh. All right. Let's take a look at him. Um, what level did he come in at? Um, where are you at? Oh yeah, we have uh, Corrington now. Oh, I should have looked at what his stuff is when it's upgraded. Oh well. Um, okay. Okay, he comes in at freaking Saranoa's level. Okay, cool. So we can start using him right away without having to grind. I wasn't really sure how that would work. Uh, time compression. Raise the speed of an ally within range for three turns. Turn back time. Revert a unit's position, HP, and status changes to their states from the caster's previous turn. That's a wild ability. 
In due course, deal proportionate non-elemental magic damage to a target enemy and adjacent enemies after the target completes one turn. Whenever they say proportionate, they need to tell me what it's proportionate to, because I have no idea what they mean. Deal proportionate non-elemental magic damage to a target enemy and adjacent enemies after the target completes one turn. So you target an enemy, and it puts a cross on them, and then if they're adjacent to other enemies, then it will do damage. Maybe proportionate means that it does more damage if it hits more people? Not really sure. Um, okay, warped space. Move an ally to any location within five squares. If that ally is charging or casting, that action will be suspended. Okay. Cool, so that's basically Light Wave, but an ability that only costs two TP. Of course, it's range-based, so, um, but I, I can definitely see that being useful. Stop time. Stop everyone but yourself for two turns, preventing them from taking any actions. Then gain the use of one more command. However, you can only move once. Okay, so that one probably has a range. Hmm, cool. Switch the position of yourself and a selected unit. If that unit is charging or casting, that action will be suspended. Okay. So anytime we warp somebody, they lose uh, whatever charge they're doing. So we'll have to be mindful of that. Make sure that we don't do that. But very cool. Seems like a cool character. And we're not that far off from getting the other two characters either. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough choices. I, we're getting roughly like 50 points towards whatever we're doing. Um, every time we get a choice, um, a major choice, so um, that means that, uh, you know, it probably won't take too long, but I don't know if it'll it'll happen before we get to the Chapter 7 choice where we're actually going to be doing a mission on screen, so we'll have to see. Um, but I'll update you as soon as I have something to update you with. Okay, we're coming up on a choice. So here we are in Chapter 7, Part 1, A Soul Upon the Scales. Regna is beheaded, and Esfrost gains control of Glenbrook. Simone collapses when he hears the news. But Saranoa hasn't the time to despair as the Esfrosty army approaches, led by none other than Evlora. They ask for Roland's surrender. House Wolfort must decide whether to relinquish a friend into enemy hands or defend him to the last. Now, I've been playing um, all of these missions leading up to this on uh, easy and very easy. Um, and... Honestly, it didn't take me long to get back here, so that's kind of nice. Now, the thing that is probably going to start becoming an issue is, all right, so let's see. Our highest levels are 39, right? Um, I'm guessing that um, the actual mission that we're going to be doing here is probably going to be like 40 to 42 or something. So we are a little bit behind, I feel like. I think the last mission was like 40 or 41, so um, we are definitely behind in levels. And that means when I switch it back to uh, hard, it's probably going to end up being pretty difficult. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to play out. We might need to uh, get ourselves up to a higher level. But we'll see. I don't know what to expect. So we're going to go through the story bits here. Lord Serenoa, thank the heavens you're safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father, no. Say it is not so. Roland. I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness, but I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. 
We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simon. Hmm? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Bad news all around. Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father. Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can. But none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell, you too abandon me now? <sighs> At Gustadolf's command, S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taken any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. Alright, we're coming up on the choice. You can't. 
cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping His Highness safe, and we accept it. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, Your Highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolfort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. You must decide. Okay, so we need a few more points of morality and liberty, so. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince, but as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince, but as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. I am sorry, Saranoa. Pray do what you feel is best for your house. I will find some way of helping my family. Your mind is made up then. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. All right. So as you saw, that choice gave us plus 50 in morality. So that gives you an idea of how long it'll take to kind of hit some of these thresholds that we're trying to get to. And in fact, it looks like we did. So uh, after this, I guess we're going to be going for liberty. Um, looks like we got it. So let's do this. Character story. Ah, look at this guy. In the Wolford Domain, a merchant tries to sell off a peculiar automaton. Intriguing. What's this guy going to be about? Welcome one and welcome all. Behold! Look how small he is. So You'll cute. You'll find no finer selection of exotic wares in all the land. Sparkling jewels, beautiful silks, and the rarest curio of them all. This automaton. It sings, it dances, it does it all. That's your cue, Decimal. Decimal. Oh. Welcome one and welcome all. This is what that rumor was about. Welcome and welcome and welcome and welcome. Okay, I love him. Protect him with everything I've got. He's gonna be weak to fire, What's isn't wrong he? With that thing? Stay away! You blasted sack of screws! I bought you to lure in customers, not scare them off! I am sorry. I did not mean to lose functional control again. Useless rusted heap of bolts! 
Be nice I've to lost Decimal. track of all the gold How I've squandered you? on your repairs, and for what gain? But no more. I won't empty my coin purse trying to make riches out of rubbish. Ah, perfect timing! You there! How would you like an automaton to call your very own? What are you waiting for? Dance for them! Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome one and welcome all. Incredible, isn't it? Bet you've never seen its like before. Indeed, but... Then it's all yours! So long, Decimal. Be good for your new master! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait! <sighs> Fleet of foot, that one. What a bastard. What shall we do with it? Hmm, I wouldn't do to simply abandon it here. Perhaps it can be of some use to us. You'll look after it, won't you, Anna? <laughs> If that is your wish. Sounds a little begrudging. <laughs> She's like, I don't even know what this thing is. What is an automaton? My name is Decimal. I hope I will serve you well, Master. Don't call me that. My name's Anna. As you command, Master Anna. <laughs> Decimal joined your forces. All right, welcome to the team, little guy. Does what only an automaton can. Immune to status ailments, cool. Possesses abilities with a wide range that trigger depending on the target's HP or TP. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep. This is the mathematician. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Will he be as powerful as, um, as they are in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics? I wonder. What do you got? What do you got, buddy? Comes in at level 39. Automaton's Artifice. Okay, so he has a telescope. Weird. Okay, Automaton's Artifice. Uh, passive skill. Become immune to all status ailments, but don't recover TP naturally at the start of your turn. Okay, so let's see. Gain 3 TP when not moving or using commands. When not moving or using com Okay, so basically you just have to wait a turn and you'll gain 3 TP. Weird. Alright. But like if you start out the... You could start out a mission, basically. When you start, you'll have three. So basically, first turn, you could do something. And then second turn, you wait. And so on and so forth. Okay. Target. Deal non-elemental magic damage to all enemies within range whose current HP is a multiple of three. Deal non-elemental magic damage to all enemies within range whose current HP is a multiple of four. And decrease their movement by one for three turns. Oh, dude. Yeah, he could be very, very good. He probably won't be as robust as, um, as, as the, were they called mathematicians in that as well? I know that between the, uh, War of the Lions version and the original, I think they changed their name, but I can't remember what they called them. Eh, doesn't matter. Deal non-elemental magic damage to all enemies within range, current HP is multiple of five, and have a chance to instantly kill them. Holy shit. Dude, what? Raise the strength and magic attack of all allies within range with zero TP for three turns. Huh. Okay. Interesting character, this guy. I feel like there's an accessory built for you. What is the one that, um... Yeah. You don't have natural TP recovery anyway, so you should just always have the Obsidian Anklet. We haven't been using this on anybody else, so... That thing's perfect for you. Okay. Let's get in and do the scales. Uh, 
I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Their hearts are divided. Still, a compelling argument may yet change some minds. Alas, I have an incomplete picture of the situation, and I would be a poor lord if I did not hear the voice of my people. I should venture into town. Going out, my lord. Yes, I wish to ensure everything in the town is in order. Alright, so we're gonna run around and talk to everybody. I'm gonna speed through um, all of this chat. Um, and we're going to then try to convince people. And we're gonna be going for um, the letting go of Rudolph. Or not Rudolph, um, uh, Roland. <laughs> Rudolph is a different character. So, something to note that when you're exploring... Um, if you've picked up the items in a previous playthrough, they are not replenished in this one. So, I have found some things that, uh, I didn't pick up the first time. Um, so I will be looking around to find those things that I missed the first time through, but... We're just gonna be going through this pretty quickly. Um, at this point, all of our answers are going to be for liberty. I find myself in the unfortunate position of having thought peace would be everlasting. And we'll be doing that until we get that last character. Also, I think that all of the things that we've learned in previous playthroughs are also... Um, they don't have to be relearned. Pretty soon here, I probably won't even be doing this, where I run around and talk to people. But we'll see. Okay, just checking all my corners for items. There's usually like at least one thing that I miss the first time through, so. You see that as we talk to people, we do get morality bonuses, although they're only a plus one, so the amount that they actually change really is not that much. So, um, okay, so we need to talk to you. I. Oh, you know what? Let's save real quick, just in case we have to reload. Now, because my convictions are really high, I actually don't know if it's going to be an issue at all to convince anybody of anything in these subsequent playthroughs. Um, but we'll have to see. I... Do you truly mean to give up Prince Roland? Doing so would save countless lives. This is the only way to protect our own. I see. I too understand that we must do all in our power to see innocent lives are not lost. Must we truly make such a callous choice in order to protect the people? I need a moment to think. My apologies, but this has only left me more uncertain of what is right. Okay. Um, let's see. Huet? I... Surrender Glenbrook's future king to our hated foe? Surely you'll not go along with this. Roland and I agree, we must keep the peace in the Wolf Fort Domain however we can. Hmm. Yes, I've no doubt that His Highness agrees with you. 
And yet, I simply cannot believe that this is the right course of action. Then... I ask you again, my lord. Do you truly mean to surrender Prince Roland to our oppressors? The Lord of a High House has sworn to protect his people, no matter the cost. I understand you have a duty to the people, my lord. But... And yet I cannot help but feel this must seem an exceptionally cold and calculating decision to Prince Roland. I don't know what to do. There are no good options. Alas, I must make my peace with one of them. Okay. And Eridor. Here's what I think. Is this what you call justice now? Willingly giving up your prince, your closest friend, to that bastard's clutches? This is Roland's will, Eridor. Who am I to defy him? Aye, And but... you take him at his word? You know as well as I do that ain't what he wants. He feels he's got no other choice than to say that. And clearly, so do you. And further. All I know for certain is Glenbrook will be but a memory if we give up Prince Roland. And what do you think will become a House Wolforth then? How do you mean to repay the debt we owe our king? <laughs> By protecting his loyal subjects, come what may. Uh... You'd take that bitter pill for the people? You're a rare breed, I'll say that. It is to my great shame that I cannot do anything more. Do you fear the Duchy, Eridor, that they may destroy the Domain as we know it? Consider this. Of course I do, but we have to face them down. There's nowhere to run. But now is not the time, Eridor. Not if we hope to win. Hmm. So we bide our time for a bit, sit back and wait for a chance to strike. I'm sure Benedict would like the sound of that. And if we really mean to defeat the Duchy, that may be the only way. I appreciate the talk, lad. Helps to know where your head is leading you. And further... There's time yet. Go on. See what the others have to say. Okay. And Anna. Lord Saranoa. What troubles you most, my lord? That I may not be able to protect my people from the fires of war I see on the horizon. Certainly. For there will be no safe haven for our people if Esfrost attacks. Your duty as lord compels you to protect the people. Thus the only choice is to surrender Prince Roland. But? Is that a choice you can live with? Roland is my liege, and as such I must respect his wishes. Perhaps. Yes, of course. I suppose I was rather bold. I did not consider your bond with the prince. Nor your feelings, for that matter. Forgive... Please, Anna, there is nothing to forgive. I appreciate your candor. Okay. Um, okay, so... End persuasion phase and commence the voting. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I will put my faith in you. I agree. Please forgive me. Okay. You won me over. All right. It looks like we convinced everybody, so I think that our level of convictions... The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. ...does play a pretty huge part, so I don't think that we're going to have issues uh, getting any of the choices that we need going forward. That's good to know. Convinced everybody. The way forward is decided. Surrendering Prince Roland is the only way we can survive.
So be it. The decision is made. This is the path we walk. Damn, I feel bad for him. Roland. I really do. Say no more. It's gotta be really tough. Thank you for sheltering me, my friend. The choice you have made is wise and just. Go forward with your heads high. Roland left the party. All right, well, I think this is where we're going to end this episode, and the next one we'll continue on and probably get into whatever our new fight is going to be. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.